Hi Pam, this is Brad Pierce. And for anyone watching that uh, doesn't know who I am, I'm Brad Pierce and I work at Starfleet Audio. Uh, it's a recording studio in Whitensville, Mass. So Pam, um, you have uh, a Marantz recorder and uh, we've recorded the show the other day and you want to edit that in Audacity. So I thought I'd uh, try a, a Google Hangout YouTube video. I and want to try this, so this is a good opportunity. So uh, I'm going to show my screen here, and there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Audacity, which I've already launched, and I'm going to do a new new session, new project. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the preferences and just show you a few things how I have it set up. So let's see, the first thing would be the quality preference. Now you can see that I've set it up uh, default sample rate to 48k and the, the sample format or bit depth is 24-bit. Uh, now we, we recorded the show at 48k 24-bit so this is going to match the audio that's on the Marantz which is going, going to work good. Uh, let's see, and the other thing that I wanted to show you, let's see, uh, yeah, that's something that I'm going to show you as well. So if you could just go to projects and just click on ask user um, it, it, for saving your sessions and audio and how it how it uh, manages the audio files that you're going to import, that's, that's all it has to do with. And I think that's all. Uh, let's go to import export here. So it says when importing audio files, you can either make a copy, um, which will obviously make a copy so the, you're not working on the original. But since you have the original on the card, you may not have to do this. But if you wanted the safest way, you would probably click that right there. But even if you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to copy or not when you save the project. So no biggie there. And then um, when you export tracks to an audio file, if you, this is probably checked, always mix tracks down to stereo or mono channels. That's probably default and that's probably how yours is set as well. Uh, so I think, I think that is going to be good. Uh, and then just click OK. So I have um, some audio here at 48K and 24-bit sample rate. I'm going to import that into this project in Audacity. So I'm going to go to the File menu. I'm going to go to Import and choose Import Audio. And then I'm going to find, uh, I'm going to navigate to where the audio is. Now you probably will have your card will probably show up down here. So you would open the card and navigate into the folders and find that audio file uh, that you want to import. And yours is an hour long. So it's, you know, things are going to be a little slower than mine because I only have one tune from, well, it's a Steely Dan tune. It's one of my faves. Okay, so uh, you're going to check the audio file and then you're going to click open. And then it's going to give you a warning so it's going to ask you, you know, you can either copy this file to a new location so that you have a safety, your original, or you can uh, work directly from this audio file. And since that audio file is on the card, I think you should probably do a copy right now. So what we're going to do is make a copy of the files before editing. So this is going to copy it from the card to your internal hard drive. And then we're going to just click OK. And your copy is going to take a while because my co my tune is only three minutes and your co your tune is an hour. So that, that's uh, going to take a little longer than, than this here. Now, we have the audio in Audacity. And now that I have it in there, I'm going to go and I'm going to save this project as and um, it's asking me save project for an Audacity project. 
not an audio file. For an audio file that will open in other apps, use export. Now this type of warning is just kind of a precautionary, polite warning. Um, it's kind of weird that it comes up right now. I suppose on a, on a project save, yeah, you're not really, it wants you to know that you're not really saving the audio, you're saving the project. So this whole thing, this, this Audacity file with the audio in it is a project. And it's, we're not saving just the audio file. We're saving the whole project and it's just telling you that's what you're doing. No biggie there. Now we need to name the project. All right, so I'm gonna navigate to my music folder and I've already made a folder. So what I'll do is make another folder and I'll say uh, Audacity Test 2. All right, so this is what you would do. So what you wanna do is you wanna, you're gonna contain all the files for this little project in that particular folder. So if I click Create, I create a folder. And now I'm gonna name this, <coughs> pardon me, Audacity Test Project. And you can see the format it's going to be uh, saved to is an Audacity project, .aup. And I'm going to save that. So now if I go to my music folder, yeah, it's going to take a little while to. If I go to my music folder, here's my music folder. And I can see I just made this particular folder. And if I open that folder, you can see that there's a couple of things in there. So there's two, two, two things here. The first thing is the document that you have open over here. This, that's the Audacity project document. And the other folder is a place for um, keeping the audio files and all the data and all the junk that's going to go along with this project. Now you can set this up a little different in Audacity. So if your folder doesn't look exactly like this, don't worry about it. You might have a folder here, you might not. I have it set up to work a lot like Pro Tools, and that's all. So you probably will at least have the session document or the project document. That project document is this thing right here, just like as if it was a Word document. And the audio in it is like the words that you've written. All right, now we have the project saved. Now you can go to town, go and edit all your stuff and make it short, clip and cut and paste, whatever you have to do. Uh, make sure you save along the way. So if you change something, you'll have an opportunity to save the project. Apple S, Command S. Generally when I work, I keep my thumb on app, uh, on the command button and my index finger, number two, is going to be over the S. Every time I do an edit that I want to keep forever, I hit uh, Command S to save. Uh, maybe it's a little obsessive, but it's uh, kept me out of trouble. So I've never really lost uh, much of anything uh, for a very long time. And I'm gonna knock on wood on that too. All right, so you did your editing and you have the file exactly how you want it to be. Sweet. Now, we're gonna export that audio to come to me so that I will do the mastering and, and make it nice for uh, broadcast. So what, you, what you're gonna do is export audio since you only have one track in this project file, we can do export audio, which will uh, export the whole track. Okay, so we'll do that. Now we want to make this audio file name something different than the project name, say, right? And uh, we want to keep it along with probably this is how I work. We keep it along with the, all the other files that are for this project. So this is the, the folder that we're keeping all those files in. So I'm gonna open that. And then you could put it right in here. Uh, and let's do the name first. And I'll show you a couple of different ways that I do things. Um, let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna call this uh, audio file whoops, for Brad. And then generally I'll do a little date there. It's the 31st today. So 
March 31st, 16. So if I do this again tomorrow because I got to fix something that I didn't do right today, tomorrow I would put in April 1st instead of 0401. And then when I look at these in a week or two or a year, I will know which one was the last one. So the last one generally is the one that you want to use. If you bring this up in a year or something, you'll know which one was last done. So that kind of gives you a historical uh, 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 story of what you did in this project. Very handy date codes. I use them all the time, and you probably have seen that. Now, the format for this save or this export, audio export, we're just going to click that open. <clears throat> and we're going to choose the eighth. You could do wave too if you want. Doesn't matter. You could do wave right here. Uh, let's see the other. Yeah, that's probably the, the the one that you would do. Or you could do wave. For me, you can do wave. That's fine. And then you're going to keep 24-bit uh, PCM. That's what I'm going to have you do. And then you click OK there. Now your options are selected. And so that's pretty much the deal. And you're going to click Save. And that's going to write, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. It brings up the metadata. So on that audio file, we can add little metadata or information about the file inside the file. So you don't need to do anything for me in here. You could fill it in if you want. Uh, but for me, I don't require any of that. So you can just click OK, <clears throat> and that's going to save your audio file for me. Now, let's go back to the music folder, and we'll just check this out. You can see that here is the audio file that you just exported. And this is the file that you will send to me, so you can Dropbox it. And let's go back to Audacity just for a sec. Now, uh, I did kind of forget something I wanted to bring up before. So um, I'll probably put in the show notes, just watch the whole thing before you, uh, before you do things, because I just want to point something out here. If we go to Preferences, we can see that quality, since we already set this before, this is the quality, the sample rate and bit depth of this particular project. And that's a good thing because we set that up front. And then when we imported the same uh, quality settings in the audio file that we did the recording of, of the show, everything worked out good. Now, if you forget to set this and you do something else, say if you do a project at a different bit depth, uh, or a different sample rate and you import that audio, that may change the project settings. So when you first do an uh, open Audacity, just, just go to the preferences here and just set up that quality setting to whatever you want to work in. So if when we do the next show, this would be the first thing that you would do after you launch Audacity. You set this up. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's basically the whole scoop. Pretty nice. So if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know when you watch this because I'm, I'll be interested to see how it works for you. If I went too fast, if I went too slow, if I babbled, <laughs> if you could under it, understand everything. Um, yeah, just give me some feedback because I'd love to know. Um, and I did get your email, and it was a very nice email. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm, I'll be replying to that shortly. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing. And um, that's it. Okay, so um, I'm going to close this, and thank you very much. I'm Brad Pierce from Starfleet Audio uh, Recording Studio in Whitensville, Mass. Tracking, editing, mixing, and mastering. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.